Alright, what's happening, folks? It's your boy, now Town Born. Just sitting here chilling. Not really doing much. Just kind of checking out YouTube and seeing what's happening. Nothing's really happening right now. Um, as promised, I'm coming back and I'm going to be making videos on a more regular basis. At least more regular than I have been making them. Uh, this uh, November to remember that the Rope of Dope guys are. Uh, advertising is uh, is really gonna be a good month for boxing and I'm thinking since I've already done my Andre Durrell versus Andre Ward vid I got my Amir Khan versus Marcos Maidana vid out of the way um, I'm thinking I should throw my hat into the ring for the contest they're holding in November uh, no I'm not so cocky as to expect that I'll win, but I think the participation in and of itself will be uh, rewarding. And I think the more people that join up, the more people that do it, uh, the more good videos we're going to see on boxing. Um, and, and everybody's getting the right idea. We, we are the advertisement. Now, I don't have, a, you know, I've said this before, I'll say it again, I don't have a whole lot of subscribers, but the ones I do have, I thoroughly enjoy talking to. Um, everybody that comes and comments on my page for the most part are pretty cool and uh, and know a lot about boxing and a lot of them have dropped knowledge on me that you know I didn't know before that being said I'm gonna go ahead and get into uh, Juan Manuel Marquez versus Michael Katsidis now the favorite I think in this fight it's probably Marquez. He's obviously the better boxer. He obviously has a better boxing IQ. He obviously has every tool he needs to beat a pressure fighter like Katsidis. My problem with this is Marquez is getting old and it's not too hard to tell that he's losing a step or two. I'm not saying he's the, he got old overnight. I'm not saying any of that stuff, but I'm getting the idea or the impression that um, Casamayor and Juan Diaz were kind of his last hurrahs, if you know what I mean. Uh, that's not to say I, the, that that feeling I'm getting is an accurate one. That's just how I'm seeing it right now. Um, that being said, you could take a look at Michael Katsidis versus Casamayor and Michael Katsidis versus Juan Diaz and see the stark contrast between the way Michael Katsidis and Juan Manuel Marquez both handled these same opponents. Now obviously Marquez handled them better because Mar or Katsidis lost to both of them. Since the Diaz fight though with Michael Katsidis I, I feel the need right now to point out that he is getting more involved in his style. Before, it was a little wild. Right now, where he keeps some gloves up at his chin, and he keeps a, 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 at least a guard up, which he wasn't really doing a whole lot before, which created a lot of the wars he'd been in, uh, especially that Amonsat. Um, that was a fight where I thought was really good but didn't need to be, especially for Katsidis. And I think in developing that style that he's portraying, that style that he fights with, that pressure brawler boxer, or brawler first, boxer second type mentality for Cat Seedies. Um, you could see with Kevin Mitchell, Cat Seedies had that fight on lock, no matter how much any of us were talking about it beforehand. And it was supposed to be a good fight. But Cat Seedies rolled him. Alright? And it's because he's focusing on his strengths instead of covering up his weaknesses. Now, a lot of fighters do this. Um, if, if, you know. Watch some guys five or six years ago. Watch Pacquiao five or six years ago. He's not as good then as he is now. And he focused on his strengths instead of covering up his weaknesses. His defense was always suspect. And it still is today in my opinion. That is totally off the topic. And I'm sorry for dropping a Manny in there. Uh, but I felt the example was a good one. Uh, Michael Cassidy's could surprise a lot of people. And um. I think with the pressure he creates uh, and the fact that I think 
even though he gets cut up, he's a very durable. I think he's much more durable than Juan Diaz. Now let's remember Juan Diaz was putting it to uh, Juan Manuel Marquez in their fight, in their first fight. Now I think Katsidis is suited better for that fight. I think putting him in that position with the way he fights now, um, he would uh, not get knocked out and possibly come out on top. And that's what I'm seeing right now. I'm seeing maybe Marquez isn't going to be as good as he was in that first Diaz fight. Man, y'all can't see shit. Hold on. And I'm thinking if he's not going to be as good as he is in that first Juan Diaz fight where he knocked Diaz out, but he was losing on scorecards at the time or, you know, coming up to it. Man, I think Katsidis can do it. But he has to do it early. If he doesn't knock out Marquez early, uh, he has to knock him down and 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 then ride. Because I don't, I I think Katsidis might get knocked down by Marquez if this goes past six or seven rounds. But I don't see him getting knocked out. Now there's a difference: knocked down, knocked out. Uh, he plants his feet really well. Katsidis does. Marquez is an excellent counter puncher, and it seems. It's portrayed, maybe, that Katsidis is tailor-made for Marquez right now because with that pressure, gets a little bit crazy. Marquez can counter real well. And Marquez has sur surprising power. The way I see this fight playing out, though, is uh, Marquez getting dropped early. Um, hopefully Katsidis, you know, corner doesn't let him start slow because if Katsidi starts slow he's digging himself a hole that he'll likely never dig himself out of. Um, I'm looking for Katsidis to jump on him early and I'm looking for knockdowns early for either of them. Um, I am going to pick Katsidis to come out on top and this is going to be uh, <laughs> probably off the wall a little bit but I'm going to pick Michael Katsidis to win by knockout in the sixth round. Now that's taking nothing. I'm not taking anything away from Marquez. I'm picking Katsidis to win based on what I've just told you. Uh, and I'm picking him to get the knockout early because I think he needs the knockout early. And much respect to uh, the boxing historian for putting that out there as well. Because I saw his vid even though he picks, he's picking Marquez. I'm seeing the flip side of that coin. Um, I think a lot of guys in that division need to be tentative about taking fights with Cat Cetis. He's a very dangerous fighter, and I think that's going to show. And uh, I'm looking for Marquez not to not to have as much pep in his step. Uh, that one that Juan Diaz two the rematch that wasn't his fault the way that fight played out, but. Juan Diaz sat back and avoided the knockout and took uh, took a loss by decision because he decided he wanted to box. My Katsidis, I don't see that happening. He's going to pressure early and pressure in different ways. Uh, hopefully, actually, I'm expecting him to find the right way to pressure Marquez. I think you watched that first Juan Manuel Marquez versus Juan Diaz fight and. And I think if you watch that and understand that fight and understand that Katsidis has gotten better since his Juan Diaz fight, um, I think you can see what I'm saying, or at least feel me, even if you're picking Marquez. I'm picking Katsidis to win, knockout, sixth round. And uh, that's that. <laughs> uh, on a wider side, this is a fight I'm really looking forward to. This has a fight. This is a fight that has the potential to have a lot of action, okay? Marquez isn't scared to brawl. Let's remember that, too. Uh, that won't work in his favor with Katsidis, I don't think. But let's remember that. Um, at any point in time, if you see something Marquez is, is getting backed up or something he's doing not working, and it just happens like like just like that, and uh, he'll start going off. <laughs> it should be. This is one of the fights in November that I'm really looking forward to. I'm looking forward to Darrell versus Ward, of course. But as far as action pack... I'm really looking forward to this Marquez Katsidis fight. Should be a barn burn. This is Daptel Board throwing my hat in the ring for the November contest. Deuces. <laughs>